Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. My name is Twitchy, playing the role of my boy Cal here, and we are back on Zepho, home of the ancient force using aliens that, for some reason, a dead Jedi has great interest in. We have been running around this tomb for a little while now, having fights with stormtroopers, fights are for the death on top of sarcophagi, and we've learned a new skill. We have indeed learned a new skill. We have taken on the powers of the Force Pull. This thing. I don't know what we are able to... What, let me try that again. I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to use it on, but use it on stuff we will. We can pull stuff like this and then we can throw it. Uh, now, if we've got using robots or anything like that instead of... Uh, the little lantern thing or whatever that is. Uh, it, they tend to explode when we throw them, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to make my way up here because I saw a whole bunch of stormtroopers having a fight and I've got a feeling we want to get involved. In fact, there is a Tomb Guardian over there. Do we do we care? Do we just want to watch the battle go down? I almost just want to watch the battle go down because I'm fairly sure he is going to kick some major Imperial buttocks. Yeah, he seems to be doing all right. Seems to be doing all right. In fact, I don't know if he's actually doing any real damage. Not going to get involved there. And uh, I think I might just wait. Just wait. I'm, I'm not going to be sorry, though, am I? All right, let's go see what we can do here. Um, one of those. Pull away. Okay, we're waiting for big hit. Hey, dude. Hey, who is that over there? Let's, uh, let's try and send these back to him. Can I break my camera lock over there? Okay, because I'm running, I get to block automatically. This is something that we... This is a skill that we picked up. Uh, hopefully, oh, I was going to get a run going and then like do a little leaping jump at him, but that didn't actually work out. Okay, let's go and take this bad boy on again, shall we? Uh, we do a big old force pull. It pulls the, his core out like that. And hopefully, I should just be able to finish him off whilst he was weak and vulnerable. Woo wee! Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we can press this. What does this do? Oh, this like makes this try to break, but it doesn't. It doesn't actually work. It doesn't actually work. So we're going to have to try and figure out what we can do with that. And say, oh, this. Pull this back. Didn't I? Didn't I do something like that? Bam. Okay. Oh, there's some force wind being pulled. Because oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. So what happens if I push this? I don't know. Like that. That doesn't work. Okay. I was wondering whether we could lift it up. Maybe if we turn this back off. I don't know. Is there something on the other side? Is that is that what we're supposed to be doing? I also see this. This is one of those um, points that we get to attach the pulley things to. Can I use that? I can't use that. Uh, oh, look, over here. Over here. This is what I was looking for. Brilliant. Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. If we come over here and attach this to this. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, what does this do? It's brought it up nice and high. That's cool. I'm going to press this again just to, because I turned it off when we got in here. Uh, so I'm going to try it like that. If I push that, the rope just kind of moves up and out of the way. That's nothing to worry about. I'm wondering whether I want to get up higher or not. I see that there's a bunch of lanterns over there. I'm not sure if they've got an... Was I supposed to use those... Hang about. Was I supposed to use those to break it? I'm not sure. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Let's, uh, let's bust that open and uh, let, let go of it. No, no, no. Bust that open and let go of it. I'm not sure how I let go of it. Oh, look, look. There's Bernie stuff there. Do you see the tangle of knots? Okay, all right. Actually, I've got a new plan. I've got a new plan. I was about to go and try and throw the lantern against the glass, but now I think I've got something better to do. If we uh, come along here and grab a lantern... Oh! Oh, I broke that open by accident. I was aiming for this. Aha. Okay, so I grabbed this, and then we kind of turn around. Where is it? There it is. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be aiming, but we'll go for that. Okay, that was far too low down. That was far too low down. Right, you come here as well. Let's uh, let's aim up here. Getting better, but we've got to do much more left. Much more left. Okay, so we'll go over this way. I'm guessing it's where, like, my central point is. Am I flowing? No, it was just where the water was moving. Okay, let's try that. Better, better. I'm wondering whether I can actually just get closer. Let's go get closer. Oh, 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 we got a foodie whoop. Foodie whoop. What you got there, buddy? Let's scan that up and have a look. Uh, just scanning a lot of them. Okay, what what are you going to find, buddy? What are you going to find? Uh, votive candles. All right, yeah, I'll read that. The most common offerings brought to Mick Troll's tomb, well, I struggle with that, were votive candles, generally encased in metal and adorned with carvings. It is said their flames represent Mick Troll's and Undying power. Oh, no, no, I had that. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, it's his unending power. Who knows if he's actually got unending power, right? Okay, we're going to throw this through here. I mean, I'm guessing it's not because he's in a sarcophagus, right? Okay, is the water in the way? Is that what's actually happened here? That's not very nice. Okay, next plan. I'm going to try jumping over here. 
Turns out you can't jump. Okay, that's uh, that's a thing. Can I pull one of those from over here? Doesn't look like I can. Mm, they have definitely made this awkward, haven't they? Oh, look, there's, there's like water in the way here as well. Yeah, it just hits the water. What happens if we go through here then? Look, it's also got water here. I've got a feeling we're not going to be able to bring the votive candles through here either. Ah, th this would be nice if we could though. It would be very nice if we could. Can I... Yeah, pull that one through the wall. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what have we got over here? Sense that echo. Let's let's get some information here. What have we got, man? This was what have we got? a sign of respect and reverence for the sage buried here. Beautiful, beautiful. This one, let's grab this and let's go see what we can find with it. What what are we allowed to break down? Oh look, there's a there's a whole pulley system here. Something to bear in mind. Can we throw that up and over there? I don't know what's going to happen. Let's try it. Uh, oh, I mean. Terrible aiming, terrible aiming. There's no, um, oh, hey, hey. There's no, uh, no, like, aiming system for it. What am I trying to say here? R reticule, you know, like, in the middle of the screen. Lets you know where you're pointing. I suppose, you know, it is something. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Just stand aside at the last moment there. You can see that. That was pretty cool. Um, not doing too well there. There we go. Beautiful. And you, and, uh, hey. Thanks. Thanks. Did that just snap back down? What is going on here? Help get up, get up. Okay, cool. Slow him down and go for a run. I, why am I not running? <laughs> okay, I'm just doing incredibly bad today and I'm not overly sure why. Man, I feel bad. What just happened there? I know it normally takes me a second or two to warm back up, but oh, that was terrible. Oh no, bad guys everywhere. No. Okay, so that door we went through is still classified as open. But you know somewhere where I haven't been? What is over this way? We went and had a little bit of a look earlier on uh, last episode, but we didn't really get uh, an idea of what was actually over here. I just want to have a look around. Like, is that where we came in? I can't... I can't quite remember. This uh, This whole area around here is very, uh, very similar looking. Okay, it looks like we've just got an item over there. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. Okay, let's just try and get up there. I, I want to do the, the pull attack on him as soon as he gets, like, some sort of big attack set up. Come on, mate. Come on, let's do it. And then I do one of those. No, it doesn't look like... There we go. That That's the one that I'm looking for. Oh, I used up all my force powers doing the pull. All right, away we go. Away we go. Yeah, you can do one of those stomps. I don't mind. Two of those stomps, hey? That's interesting, mate. Back up. Oh, nice, nice. Looks like... With these mechanicals, I can do like three or four hits before oh, getting into real trouble. I uh, should really just take advantage of his weakness, but uh, I was doing all right there. Doing all right. Okay, let's try and see what we got in these boxes over here. What's this uh, extra white strap on it? Is that is that normally there? I, th I think it might be, but I'm, I've just not paid enough attention. How's the slice going? Beautiful. Just see if we can get into it now. Uh, I'm hoping for a different colored lightsaber blade. That That would be great. What was it? It's a greasy money. What? I mean, I'm, mm, uh, I, I prefer the dark one. Um, I actually put, wait, where's my chrome one? There it is, Starfighter. Mm -hmm. And we got an echo to sense over here. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, look, is this the door that we a were looking from through? The ancient Zepho. I sense great vanity and extravagance in this period of their history. I mean, nothing wrong with a bit of uh, vanity and extravagance. As if I wrote, yeah, so exactly the same words there. Okay, so there's no way for us to get through that door by the looks of it. Let's check the map. No, not, not by the looks of it. We may have looked through there once upon a time, but not this time. Oh, look, we came from underneath to get inside of here. Okay, so I definitely feel like we want to go out and a through around here to see if we can make this work for us and we definitely need to try and get through this door as well there's a bunch of ropes that we want to check and of course trying to figure out what this is all about i'm not sure up to what level i'm supposed to be looking for secrets you know is this look at that, that i could i could jump and grab onto that but is that actually downstairs i don't know i don't know if i actually can jump and grab onto that it would be a shame not to try right and hey i got it I got it. Beautiful, beautiful. I was kind of expecting a uh, slow and painful death down the bottom of a hole. I'm not seeing any way that I would actually make it down. Oh, wait. Is that is that the slippy slide that we actually rode down here? It is indeed. Well, I found a nice little, uh, little sideway anyway. This means we're going to have to fight that giant creature again at the bottom. But I suppose it would make sense for me to go around and kill everything because, you know, we... Uh, we do seem to be having to try and solve a puzzle here, so let's try and do that as well. 
Uh, having having these guys off my back for as long as possible would be great, man. The squeezing through those bits, it really does take some time. It really does take some time. There's a hole up there. Okay, what are we going to see through the door? Was expecting lots of death, but it uh, looks like we've only got one death over here. Okay, hi, hi, buddy. How you doing? He's half of his life. He hasn't quite noticed me yet. Let's finish him off really quickly. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. So I started off with uh, one of these. I did the, the jump at the end that puts me over the top of them. Ended up just like slamming into him really hard there. That, that was cool. That was cool. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay, so we're going to have to drop that on this spike. That's definitely the thing going on here. Still more Stoom, Stoom Troopers. Yep, Stoom Troopers up top. So we're going to have to watch out for those guys. Hey, I'm just going to... Not happy with it, are you? No, 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 no. Well... Sorry, mate. Sorry. I want to have a quick look out here. Okay, so this was the way in. All right, no problem. No problem. I had to just quickly re-grab my bearings. Speaking of which, I'm going to go up a floor. Okay, single floor acquired. There's the bit that I'm trying to get up there. That only happens if we bring it back down. All right, well, here we go. Let's go and face this guy. Um, No, if you, if you don't mind, I'd rather you didn't do that. Okay, let's wait for him to do another... I mean, that's that's kind of a weak attack, if I'm to be honest with you. As the attacks go, they're, they're not the best. I want one that powers up his um, core like that and then just go in and do as many hits as I can. I reckon I've got this. I reckon... No, no, no. Back out, back out, back out. Okay, fine, fine. Just get in there. Do one of these. Nice. All right. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, let's come over here. I reckon pulling this out, definitely part of the part of the puzzle. Uh, if we could pop it back in here, that would work out well for us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, ooh. So, um... Oh, I was about to go, hey, let's push this and then use the uh, the power of the flow field here. That's what I'm calling it, by the way, the flow field, to uh, throw the candles around the outside. But I don't think that's actually how it works, because it pulls, not pushes. Um, all right, let's get up here and deal with these guys. Oh, it's too far away. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Something that I didn't get last time. Here, look at this. Bam. Okay, what have we got from behind here? Oh, it turns out it's, uh, it's a little box. Is it just a little box? Just a little box. Uh, I want to open this first, and then we'll have a look at what all this stuff on the wall is. It looks pretty nice. There's some serious writing on the go. Um, no, um, say, say nothing. Thank you. Uh, we've got a new material. What have we got here? What are you gonna? What are you gonna scan? What I found here is disconcerting. Oh no! Uh, just, just disconcerting. It seems these candles were offerings brought to this tomb in exaltation of a sage Mictrol. At first, I believe them votives to the life of wind, but the further I delve into this tomb, the less the evidence supports this. And yet, there is one gift that intrigues me: Sanc uh, sanctuary of Zepho holding cir circular objects, much like spear spears. Though much of this tomb is well preserved, these are uniformly destroyed. An interesting puzzle. Hmm, indeed. Alright, let's have a look around. So we're still trying to burn this thing over here. I'm presuming that our little pathway through the back here is going to show us something. Maybe we can actually fight things well this time. Um I, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet too much on it. I do uh, do like to die a lot in this game. All right, here we go. Am I going to fight the, the scribs or am I just going to run past? I don't think they're called cool. scrats. Scrats, right. Go, go, go. Let's kill him as quick as possible. All right, now we dodge that. Get through here. A big Oh, I was going for the big overhand swing there. Oh, he got me. He got me. Shame it's going to be bad for him, though. That was that was hot. That was a lot. Okay. Uh, over this way, we have seen some votive offerings. I'm a little worried that I'm about to try and take it through the water. Did you guys see that? You see this water over here. It's a bit... It's really hard to know how far up and down I am looking. Oh, look. Up there. Yeah, you see that? You see that? That was what I was worried about. So there's a hole up top. Ah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I see this. Okay, so maybe I can... Just kind of place one down. Oh, this is... This is closed. I was expecting this to be open. Ah. Ah. Oh. What did I just... Uh, I see what I just did. Okay, okay. So how do I use that to my advantage? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to be able to pull that from a distance. No, not, 
Not you. Thanks, though. Thanks. Hmm. 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 All right. I'm going to have to have a little think about this. I kind of want to get the uh, the candle up here, right? Let's try and do that. Let's try and do that. Let's jump over here. Because, uh, you know, there's no full damage here, right? I've not, not experienced any yet, actually, to be fair. Uh, so if we go around, pull one of those out, and then the big question is, can I get it up and through that hole, right? Can I even? Right. Oh, did I get it? No, I pushed rather than pulled. Low, low, low. I was trying to catch it again afterwards. Uh, let's do that. All right, cool, cool, cool. I I'm wondering where I need to throw it from. You know, if we're here and do it like that. Oh, maybe a little closer would be good. Maybe a little closer would be good. Uh, up, up. Some, something like that. I'm going to just keep going until I get it right. Oh, that was very close. All right, now that that's there, it's just kind of fallen on the floor there. Uh, I'm going to try doing it like this. We'll come over here. We'll push that into there. Thank you. And then we'll go around like this. Climb up. Oh, it's many steps. Okay, so at the top here, I want to try and pull that out of its socket. I've got a feeling I just pushed the uh, the candle. No, I'm good. Uh, can't. Yes, we got it. 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 Oh, guys. Good. <sighs> thought I, I thought I'd just broken it there. I was like, good puzzling. And then failed to actually throw it properly. Uh, throw it. Bam. All right, cool. Good puzzling, guys. Good puzzling. We've got this good. What's at the top here? I saw a sort of a force echo. That's going to be cool. I'm wondering whether it's like big points or just a bit of story. I say just a bit of story. We're here for the story. How dare you say just Amazing a bit, but it's a force the essence. Right. They were killed for stealing an offering to the sage. Ah. Uh, why would you... Oh, why would you even steal? But then why would you kill them for it? You know, you know, that's not... Not the pathway of the enlightened civilization, right? Something something bad happened here, guys. All right, I'm not sure if uh, leaving this open is going to bring us any glory, but I will leave this open, hopefully for some glory. All right, now this is the big question. How do we burn that? Can we just kind of throw this? I've got a feeling just dropping it in the water, yeah, is bad enough. Uh, so we've got to figure out how to get around. I'm wondering whether we can bounce stuff, because this this is just not good. Yeah, oh. Ah. Oh, you know, I totally could have caught that out of the air if I was paying attention. Alright, the other thing that I haven't tried, of course, is going up more levels. It could just be that I'm a bad shot. It could well just be that I'm a bad shot. So, I just followed the scrat out here that wanders on past. This turns out is where one of them disappears to. I'm looking at that down there. Uh, I, you know me, I can't help but try for this type of stuff. I, I, don't, I don't... I don't even think it's where we're supposed to be going. But I, I really want to check it out. I really want to check it out. How about over there? So Alright, so it's dead... Ooh, it's dead geometry all the way around. Fair enough. Alright, I'm still hearing some stormtroopers about. we got the purge trooper over there. That's not ideal. Oh, look. Uh, no, this way. What happens when we do this now? What? How does this help me? I mean, I'm totally just going to find out, but... All right, here goes. Woo! Oh, look, there's another one over there. Okay, I get it, I get it. Is this how I'm supposed to just, like, travel beyond this? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll do We'll do this. Oh, I hate ropes so much. I, have I ever mentioned that to you guys? All right, got it. All right, I got it. I actually managed to pull it towards me as I was throwing as well, so that that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I actually got to, like... Be silent whilst I'm doing this because I'm so bad. Woo! Okay, cool. Purge Trooper up ahead. Definitely need to go and take him down, right? But uh, trying to find out what else it is we're doing up here. I was kind of expecting... Oh, look. Uh, we can't pull it from over there. But yeah, we can. Bam. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Now we got... Uh, we still got a bit of a, an angles problem. Look. Yeah. All right. So as I said, let's go and take this guy down, shall we? He's he's looking good. He's look. Ah, oh, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, just keep running, keep running. Um, and now we get out of here just with all the dodges. I think that's probably a plan. Okay, we're gonna let that purge trooper take him down. Apart from that one, we'll we'll take that one down. Okay, now that he's here, slow him down. Maybe you're the traitor. How do you know? Bam, bam, bam. 
Uh, all right. Would have been nice to have a parry there rather than just a block. Yeah, parry. Bam. Have it. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Still looking for any... Oh, look. We got a thing we can go to. Let's see where this goes. Let's see. We'll go away, BD1. I just want to swing across. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is bad. I can pull the rope towards me, though, so it works out. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Where, where even are we? Okay, dropping down, going to go have a look. Let's have a look at the map, actually, to see what that's got to say. Um, it still reckons that I'm supposed to be back there. It still reckons that I'm supposed to be back there. But I, I want to go exploring. I want to go exploring. Oh, man. There's a bit over there that we can push, but there's some life wind coming out of the top. Looks like we need some candles for that bit. Do we do we see any? Let's, let's get down and into the water. Beautiful. Beautiful. But I don't... Yeah, it looks like this might be a place where I have to turn back. I'm going to go for a walk through, obviously. Obviously. Is there a candle on the other side that I'm allowed to pull towards me? I don't see any anywhere. That's a bit of a shame. All right, is this... It says it's green. I've obviously unlocked the way. This is very intriguing, though. This blue light coming down. All right, let's let's uh, let's try and figure it out, shall we? Look, there's a bunch of votive candles, but uh, they're all behind water, so I'm not going to be able to pull them. Ah, look, there they are. There they are. I knew there'd be some around somewhere. Let's uh, run up here, pull that one out of its socket, and honestly, mate, just over there. Beautiful. Is that all of it? Is that even on the other side? That's the big question. Does it go right the way through it doesn't and i'm not sure whether i can shoot them up there but it does unlock this for me so let's go and have a look hey guys how's it going what we got over here uh i'm seeing many more candles but the candles don't seem to help me all that much unless we can take them off over that way let's just check the map quick what is the point of this like honestly what's the point uh, okay, so we've got that thing over there that we can throw these at, but does that actually help us? I'm going to have to work on my aim here. All right, let's go there. I mean, that was, that was pretty good. Pretty good. See a switch of some description. Hi, how's it going? What does this do? What, what did that do? I pressed the button. Okay, so it's turned whatever this was off. So does that mean we can now... Uh, take one of those. I, I'm seeing wet water down the end. I am seeing wet water, so I'm not sure that going through here is the way forwards um, because I've got a feeling the moment I try and yeah push it through there, it's going to be like new. Well, obviously, the only way to do this is to try and trick shot it through the guy's mouth there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Ah, oh, shot. Did that, did that even? I have no idea. Yeah, that did even. All right, cool. Good good work, guys. Good work. Is this actually just a big old secret area back here? I think it might be. I think it might be. Is there anything going to jump out and have me? Let's open this up and have a look. Can, can we please? Thanks. Not seeing anything particularly wondrous out here. Uh, Zodiac mate, uh, Mantis paint job. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like, yeah, we've uh, explored this little area out. Beautiful. There's another one over there, though, that we've missed. Man, does this mean I'm aiming for down there? I, uh, I'm not feeling great about it. Oh, in fact, there's another rope to aim for. Okay, cool. Look at those stormtroopers on the left there. Did not see them. Something to avoid. Uh, all right, go on then. What have you got for me? I see it. There's a spear powering that lantern. Uh, what, what lantern? Oh, this lantern? Yeah, no, I, got, I got that. I just, I can't, I can't break it, guys. I can't do it. I don't know how to get fire to that thing right there. What happens if I try and push this in another direction? Turns out that I can't. Oh, that's a shame. It goes that way. But, ooh, 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 that, that could have hurt a lot. It goes that way a bit, but doesn't really do wonders. Yeah, look, look, there's a big old groove that it sits in. Hmm. Uh, I've, I've, it's been too long since I played Paul. This is the problem here. I think what I need to do is push this into the tractor beam or whatever that is, and then it just floats over that way. All right, yeah, yeah. Far too long since I played Portal. Okay, so then we do this. Uh, that was one of the challenges you could do in Portal was like fall into tractor beams and go around like that. Okay, let's try and do... Oh, let's try and shoot well, shall we? Oh, I'm so bad at these. Okay, so because I'm so bad, I've gone and stacked like four of them. I was stacking five, but it turns out one of them pushed the others out of the way. And now we should just be able to just throw that like that. Water? 
quarter still. Okay. I mean, it totally looked like the right, the right way to me. But let, let's go around this way, shall we? Let's go around this way. And now I should be able to just do that. All right, that worked. That worked. That's fine. Now that is going to way break it down. Beautiful. And now it rolls around. And if it doesn't go in that little slot there, I am a Sith's uncle. All right, let's try and just give it a little push in the right direction. Uh, give it a nudge. Give it a nudge. All right, cool. Now what happens here? I'm going to definitely jump on top of this. Uh, we're going up. We're going down. We're going up. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Where are we going? Uh, it's going to be great. Do I, do I want to be on top of this? I mean, I can totally jump down when need be. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. Didn't really work out for me, but do you guys see that over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where the chain went through. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, look at me float. I am truly a Jedi Master. All right, let's get down here and have a look at what's up underneath. We have got ourselves a little doorway. Oh, we've, uh... Oh, oh, hey. We stood on a thing. What you got there, buddy? Here it is. I have finally found an intact representation of this sacred Zephyr artifact. And what is it? My friend, look closely. I'm looking. This is Mictrol at the Vault Umbergano. You can see an object in their hand. Based on this imagery, I believe this object allows a Force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the Vault. This is the key and the guide. The Zepho Astrium. So this is the thing that lets us read the holocron. But who would destroy images of it and why? Keep it secret. It requires more research. Keep it hidden. However, it's our next step is clear. Find an astrium, if any still exist. Why hasn't he done this? How is he there every step of the way but not actually done it? Me neither. Cordova. Ugh. Pretty key. Yeah, I understand that. It's like we know what we have to find. All right, we have we know what we have to find. Let's have a look at these uh, vault requirements. Master Cordova journeys to Zepho in the homeworld of the ancient civilization of the same name. The, the same species built the vault on Bogdano, where he hid the holocron. On Zepho, he discovered a tomb dedicated to the powerful sage Mictrol. Cordova's explanation revealed the existence of a Zepho Astrium, a tool that could be uh, that could allow him to access the vault on Bogdano. Wow. We've also got some of Cordova's journey over here. Let's have a look. Which one is it? Uh, it's literally what he's just told us. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Awesome. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Have we just been raised up to the roof? We raised it. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look around and see what we see up here. Because I don't know about you guys. I feel like we've not been here before. I feel like maybe this is worthy of a little bit of an exploration. Oh, look at this. Empire tech in the background here, but with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen Oh look where we are. That's where everything was taking off and stuff And that's the Zepho village all the way over there. I will see you guys next time where we're going to uh, Try try and find this astrium, but I'll see you then or when we're gonna do that Bye.